Welcome to part one of the reading of Naruto Ultimate Harem Marmalade Party. Viewer discretion is advised. Extremely advised. Now for the original author's note. I tell myself that you're no good for me, but desire never leaves. Oh, ye tormented souls, my goal is to settle on the glow black North Poles. You can't understand me nor mimic my miracles. This is a fanfic that I remember. Not fondly, as even though I wrote it, it just flowed from inside me, and taking the time to read it sent it firmly into this can't be real territory. So I'm hoping that by correcting most of the ground and spelling this abomination, the same dominion over it will spread, and I nor anyone else will have to fear it anymore. And if you think this overly dramatic author's note is unwanted, it is. It most certainly is. Mind you, it got removed for spelling and grammar errors after the first correction. So, but above all, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs, this is a more of a documentation of the path to the fanfic dark side than a true fanfic. This is what can happen when you let yourself go and just type. Now, this will be a reworking of Naruto Ultimate Hero Marmalade Party, with better spelling, so that it at least will be comprehensible to some degree. I want to completely fix the spelling errors as there are certain gags, parentheses, dot dot dot, parentheses, that would be lost in the process that I would like to keep in. If for some inexplicable reason you want to see the original work, let me know and I'll send it to you on fanfiction.net through Document Exchange. Here is the original, original author's note. I always wanted there to be a turn Matten in this series and the Shippuden, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen, so I'll just make one myself. I think it'll be pretty cool. Naruto is still fighting against Toby and stuff, just in a different way that I thought. I'll And now, for the feature presentation, Naruto, Naruto Ultimate Hero Marmalade Party. The thunder mackened a moob rolling noise, and Toby laughed maniacally as he stood on the Hokage Monument. He was using a jutsu to make a big image of him in the sky and make his voice louder. Shinigami of Kanawa, I am being very generous, and I'm giving you one last time to defeat me for ultimate justice. This plan will give opportunity for Kanawa to grow stronger as a village. For the future, oh, true heart of unity, you shall make plan of world peace and betrayal. <sighs> but first I must meet with Tsunade and outline the scheme with her. So know this, if you break rules of plan, I will annihilate Kanawa like a farting tailed beast. I will rain down upon you with furry's vengeance, and grind you bones into the dust of the path. Thus it is spoken, so it shall be written to the very last little dot. You bizzles forgot, Tizzle does not give up. But then Toby's jutsu ran out of time, so he shirked and just teleported into Sonata's office to speak with her. When he appeared, she gasped in surprise. Oh, I did not expect you so soon. And what bold have you is this mockery? You think to control Kanoa like this? You have forgotten I am invincible, so you resist me not. Toby pulled a scroll from his jutsu dimension and unrolled it on Tsunade's desk. This is my ultimate plan. The next day. It was no rainy anymore, and there was fresh smell of air, good blue sky. People of Kanoha and the allied Shinobi force. I will now tell you of Toby's ultimate plan which he gave to me. It is a spirited battle and competition and intimate teamwork. Earlier today you had visited the hospital to have special just to placed on you to help with this plan. So now I will explicate on this just to. It is to give and mobility your natural jutsu power and chakra nature, and can also give power of flight. But those powers only activate under certain conditions. 
anus of the male partner must be inserted into either the anus or vagina of the female partner. Got that out of the way. To make things fair, every male who has chosen to participate will receive a basic female partner with standard powers. Many females will have expanded and unique powers, so I urge you to connect as many female partners as you can. The one with the most female partners at the end of two weeks will have the right to face Toby. Shigamaru raised his hand. Um, I don't suppose you plan on telling us how to claim a partner. Simple. Just activate her powers. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes your female partner's powers will run low, so to refill them, you must insert your penis into her mouth. Yes, you heard me. And if you defeat a team, you may choose one of them to add to your own team. Do you all understand? Do not make me read that twice. A bunch of people had frowny faces, but they nodded they knew. Now I shall read the list of starting partners. Naruto wouldn't say it, but he had been hoping to partner up with Sakura since he had heard the news, and he was just thinking of the fights with her he could do, and didn't really listen to Tsunade until he heard his name. Uzumaki shall be paired with Amy. Huh? Amy who? Amy Kimura, who just happens to be standing right next to you. Naruto looked to his side and saw a girl who had shoulder-length purple hair with a long bang on her left cheek, and she looked kinda older than him, but not much. You better make this worth it, Naruto. <laughs> I'm the number one candidate for Hakage. Of course I'll make it awesome. But suddenly Amy pulled him and started to whisper plans of action in his ear. Let's hurry up and get going and take as many partners right away. So then Amy was rubbing Naruto in his crotchular area. And he was surprised she did this, but he got a shape anyways. Typical. Amy striped super fast, and Naruto saw she had a hot shape with curls. And then she put down his pants and straighted swirling on Naruto, and, but he was hesitant. Do you want to be Toby or no? She turned away and spread cheeks at Naruto. But to go in Amy's girly tube and a symbol flash on her back, and they both basked. Lift off! Amy and Naruto flew up into the air and looked down on Sne. Many people were still being talked, and lots of girls were slapping dudes. There were lots of girls who had drifted off into their own little groups, and Naruto and Amy guessed they had no partners yet. Before Naruto could decide, Amy used a boosted version of the flicker jutsu and swooped in and grabbed two of the girls, and was zooming up to get a view of the battle again. You see anyone else you want, Nara? Naruto hard beat faster when he sees Sakura had no partner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, down at three o'clock! So they swooped down, and Naruto grabbed Sakura, but she see and be surprised, and fled so Naruto grabbed another girl instead. <laughs> so Amy moaned and threw them off to the Hokage Monument to land. Naruto grunted and pulled from Amy, and take a look at females they had collected. A blonde kunai tree from Kumo, some short-haired woman from Kanoa, and then the girl Naruto grabbed instead of Sakura was Tintin. Ah, uh, introductions? I'm Naruto Uzumaki. There was silence, but then Tintin spoke up. At least we didn't get taken by some creep. I don't like this either, but I know we can trust Naruto. Then the other girls shrugged and, and spoke. Samui from Kumo, said the blonde Kunoichi. Eureka from Kanoha, said the woman with the short brown hair. She and Samui looked the same age, a little older than Amy. Tintin, -ten, also from Kanoha. Amy from Kanoha. Then the girls all looked over at Naruto, who still had no pants and had a shape. There were some really awkward silence. Then Tintin said, I'll go first. So Tintin let her hair down, and it was to her shoulders and kind of wavy from being buns and so long. She kept taking her cops off, and Naruto saw she had an average shape that was still hot anyways. She sat on Naruto's lap and took off his jacket and showed Thin closed her eyes and grasped his penis. She sighed and put it in her, grunting until it fit. Then she surprised Otto and banged to kiss on his face and move on him, and Tintin kept this for a minute, until after she felt the tingle of the claim jutsu activate. Naruto was blushed like red sky after storm, and saw that Samui and Eureka already had their clothes off. Eureka had an average shape too, 
but her hips were a bit wider than Tintin's, and Samui's rustuses hung down Nard in full sexy. Samui came forward and got down on Naruto, <laughs> and it was only a bit before her mark flashed to activate. She was jiggle as she got up, and then Rika came over and sat on Naruto's lap. Here, girly too was small, so it took a while for her to get on on, and when she yelled, her mark activated. Oh! Oh! It was not and sexy, oh. And Yurika made hand signs. She then looked around, then nod and get off. Naruto. One of my powers is info and radar scanning, she explained. I know what all of our powers are now, and I need I can track other unclaimed females. She looked around the group. Your skills are essentially boosted versions of your normal stuff, but the seals have also dried out your chakrators. Samui, you have water. Tintin has earth, not true. I have fire, and Amy does as well. I never knew I was earth natured with my chakra. Huh. But I mainly use weapons. Samui and Amy bought it as well. I do too, said Amy. I'll share some of mine, I guess. I have plenty of every kind. So Tintin unsealed one of her scrolls, and the girls picked their usual weapons. A tanto for Samui, and a sigh for Amy. Eureka picked up a shuriken and stuffed it in her vagina, just in case. Wink, wink. So now what? asked Tintin. They all looked around at each other and knew not of what be doing. Let's make this our base and work from here, said Naruto. Cool. So Tintin used her earth chakra to make crown walls on the Hokafe's head, and unsealed some camping stuff to use, and even hung up photoshopped pics of some of the Kanoa guys, which made Naruto feel embarrassed. Some of them nod head like a prove. Eureka borrowed some of Tintin gear to write a list of girls to claim, and make notes of just two combos to try. Day L. Nar up. Naruto opened eyes, and it was being near after before dawn, all of sort. Stars were shining in black of sky. Tintin gave a blanket, but only was one tint which he gave to other seals. Naruto was stiff, <clears throat> and yawn as he looked over to campfire. He see Tintin, who put more sticks on fire with a tired look on her nipples. She looked to see Naruto locking, and say hey. He say hey too, and go over to the low fire to cross from Tintin. You can't sleep too. No, said Tintin. I'm kinda achy. But Naruto think it mean from rock, but Tintin meant her pussy. Me too, said Naruto, looking into the fire. He glanced and see Tintin only have blanket suit with thin stuff. So he go and get these and gives them to her. I no really need these, I'll be fine. But Tintin was no silly, and knew it was cold. Let's just share. Be better for us both. And Tintin mumbled, but Naruto hear good words placed across his libido like fruit fly on crack binge. Uh... Naruto, I know you like soccer, but what do you think of me? Am I just to be some pawn in this game? Uh, no, but how can you not... In the end. And, uh, I haven't really now you that good. There's only that one mission we did together. They fell to silence then, but now to yawn after a few minutes. Come on, said Tintin, and she reached around the fire and used secret woman grip, so Naruto couldn't escape and pull him for the blankets. They get under covers, and Tintin snuggle close with her arm over his chest. Naruto feel uncomfortable because he feels so cozy. <coughs> and Tintin gave a tired moan in his ear. Or so he thought. He was beginning to relax, but... Tintin moan of sex frustration and move her hand on his blood towards his penis. She grasped it, her delicate hands feeling like the loose vagina of a porcelain doll as she stroke him cool and stiff and slick, but her hands warmed, and she moaned more and grasped harder, and Naruto would have to grab her hand. Uh, Tintin, I just don't want to be a tool, Naruto, so let me play with yours. So Naruto turned over and touched Tintin, feeling her and taking her bed off. 
and first young love at its finest. Tintin's muffin top glistened in the low light of the fire, then Naruto descended like a breath of anus ticklings and began to kiss on Tintin. It was magical. <laughs> some little later, after they did some other stuff, the moonlight was, was trickle over the top of the rocky crown. She quarreled, and Tintin looked at Naruto with special feelings in her heart of anuses. The feelings tickled at her like the spring breath of fairies, and they had to escape. What is it, Tintin? I have a song that I want to share with you. I heard street players sing it one time on a mission, and it stuck with me for a while. Would you mind? Nah, go ahead, Tintin. Okay, the singer had a really soft voice for a guy, so if I'm not too good, imagine a voice like that. So Tintin cleared her throat and sang quietly with the lust of a new hope. When I masturbate in the forest, I am thinking of you. And those memories are the fondest that I do the deed to. Whether by starlight or under the moon, or a dusty road in June, I'll all quotation marks be with you soon. Whether by grace or just by chance, or other circumstance, I quotation marks will be in your pants. Naruto could almost hear a soft acoustic guitar playing along with Tintin's surprisingly good voice, <laughs> and began to float off to the dreamy as she continued. When I tickle myself on the highway, the eagles shed a tear for you, and all those thoughts are a nice place to stay a while with you. Whether by starlight or under the moon, or a dusty road in June, I'll be with you soon. Whether by grace or just by chance, or other circumstance, I wish it might oh, be in your pants. Moonlight and dusty roads, no more nights spent alone. Starlight and grace guide my boner. Tin Tin kissed the sleepy Naruto and they fell asleep together. In the morning, nothing much happened. They just had some food pills and it was a little awkward because everyone was naked. How soon we move out? asked Amy, who inexplicably was red down in her vagina area. I'll do a scan and then we'll what's gonna have to happen, said Eureka. Then all looked to Naruto, who knew what he had to do. As he got a shape, Eureka walked over and bent down to spread her cheeks for him, and after a moment he went in. There was an enemy flash of green light, and Eureka said, Scanning the areola now. But then there was a pause of uncertainty. And then Eureka called. Someone ride on my bag. My first target is on the move. Tintin ran over and hopped on, picking up a katana on the way. Then they achieved a lift off and flew over the edge. The wind rustling their hair. Going down. Mm -hmm. The group veered off to the side of the desert. Soon the shinobi shrub's sight set onto an engine running away. Kiba and Yako Karama. Naruto grunted. Rika, speed boost and circle around in front of them. His steed obeyed and it boosted around and cut off Kiba and Yakumo like cops and a nigger. They both gasped in surprise and Kiba got rage fumes from their ears. Wild eyes being ready by Naruto? I only have. Naruto censored Kiba's penis. He was made. He looked over the side. Akamo, trust me, this guy is noob of highest order. Didn't he save the village? Not that kind of noob. I mean, with girls. There's a desperate, awkward silence. And Yakamo made choice. Hurry! Hand it back at my. Just set up, Kiba. 
shit, that Kamar will be lonely. Yakumo chief from Naruto and got on Yuriko's backward for Tintin. Yukamu's cloth ruffled in her and she made a hat sign and put Kiba in a lusty Ginchusto. That should hold him for a little while. Is anyone else close, Eureka? There appears to be someone riding. Come in the bear alone. Not too far away, don't worry. We don't run him. They appear to be a few other teams in flying distance. Alright, let's zoom back to base first and then get going. So they flew back to base, Eureka grunted the Naruto goal. From his spot, Shino saw them all with each other and gave him idea. So back to base on the monument, Yakumo noticed the other girls were naked. Uh, I'll join your group, Naruto, but... Um, later, you know. Naruto gulped and nodded. Yakumo looked very pretty and fragile like a flower put afloating on a still pond. Eureka coughed and Naruto got back inside her and almost taked off. But Amy said, wait! She grabbed her side and hop on and Samui get on too. They lift off and Samui's breastlessness flapped and went like butterflies in a virgin's stomach. But then Tintin grabbed onto them, feeling their sexiness and groaning a bit. Naruto could see where Yorika was headed, to the Hokage Tower. He had nervous thoughts, but put in his ninja training, and made his crew stiff for the battle. Eureka's gorns were lost in the wind, but Amy kept fondling Samui, getting really into it. Samui's ninja senses pick up, and she deflected several kantai with her tanto, and Amy did too. The storm of puns increased, and Naruto and Eureka did bell rolls, and the herds that would say, You're good lady, so but then Alba was popped up, riding Tsubaki, with Shizune on board. Naruto heart pound when he sees Shizune, an arm somewhat cut nosebleed. Her sexiness was embarrassing and death-defying. There she is, Naruto, says Eureka. We need Shizune. Naruto gulps and nods. I won't let you do it to the Hokage, shot Alba. But I am destined to face Toby, replies Naruto. I need the epic power of her... Um... Tits. Amy looked back at him like, Really? The Alba! Ground and shut. I believe you, Naruto, but it is a power you will have to go through me to get. Alba went into his super mode, and Tsubaki barfed crows at a high speed, and some of them was shot lasers from their eyeballs, and Naruto did his best dodgings, but was still being to deflect some with kunai. Naruto did big swords of chakra, and Samui used a big water dressu, which hit Alba, quotation marks, just two crows like a wave of girly tube blood, and the light was refracted, and the just two crows' feathers got wet, and they could not fly. Amy then got antsy and wanted to use a big fire jutsu, so they zoom in, throwing kanai, which is Shizune deflected, but just to do to give Amy some time for preparing. She tickled Samuel's boobies one last time, and then made Hansel with Surge of Chakra everyone gave her. There was a big anime flash of red light, and Amy yells, Fire style just to vagina immolation! <laughs> By the way, don't expect me to yell every one of the attack names, please. Give me some credit. A big wave of fire goed from Eureka and Amu and Sammy, and it formed a giant fiery flying vagina to sweep to Alba and close in on him. It engulfed him like a lost virgin, swallowing him like a prison bitch, and it made a big anime flash as it was being imploded. But it seemed to do of nothing. Alba and Tsubaki and Shizune were being purple now, and steamy like a hot cook. <coughs> what? Samui and Eureka say, but Naruto was surprised too. It's my pose and mist, Shizune explained. When in high high heat it becomes protective coating and not of poison. But in secret Shizune knew they was poisoned a little bit and feeling of a baked potato. Well I pull out all the stops now, shouted Naruto. Shadow clone Justu. 
bunch of copies of Naruto and the girls appear, and they have all their weapons and dart in for the fighting. But somehow Shizune knew the clone just do too, and made some, not as many as Naruto, and the clones hop off at Aoba and spring around fighting. Amy's Jutsu clones hop off and fight, and she was good with her side, but Shizune was being fast and got lots of clones with good kanai attackings. So Amy prepared to use another big fire just to a once a day kind of thing like the Chidori was been. She became in tune with her clones, and then they turn to Alba and make their hand signs and scream with rage moanings. Fire style jutsu, hellfire orgy. This was big ultimate technique, and there was an anime flash of energy as blood red flames pulse from Amy's clone's crotular areas that mingle and swirl and explodicate to the destroying of Marto's clones too, and milky smoke wink wink curl up as leftover fire rain down to burn stuff. It was to sing Alba and Subaki and Shizio still in air but all wobbly. Then hitting clowns with Naruto with the girls fly up and punch Alba in the face which made building explodiate in the land of water. I I concede, Alba said, and then they fly to the Hokage Tower and land. This was disappoint. I was thinking of being better, Alba said. No, you did great, Naruto said with encouragement. Like that crow laser thing, and Shizune was quick thinking too with her poison. Amy and Samui nod, being impressed with this. I never knew Amy was good with fire just to said Suzune. Well, hearing about how that Sakura Haruno and was being of training with Lady Sunade made me want to be better, so I trained a bunch. But then all could see Shizune and Alba and Tsubaka was hot and not feeling good. And so Shizune healed them some, but she got tired and didn't have the chakra to heal herself. But then Tsunade came outside and look on scene. She sees Shizune and has a sad look of face for a minute before using the one um, green palm glowy jutsu to heal her up. After Shizune's skin was nice and healthy and pink glowy like Oba and Tsubaki's was. So, Naruto, which of Alba's team do you choose in victory winning? asks Tsunade. Rika nod at Naruto and he says, I pick Shizune. An air became of word, and Tsunade said, I'm sure everyone else would be glad to update me on the contest, and looked to the door where she was walked from. So Naruto and Shizune go through, and it has nice stairs going to a posh apartment suite with a nice big rug in the middle of the room. Naruto looked at Shizune, and she looked at him, and he looked at her, and she looked at him like the Reed Owl song, and Naruto gulped and got his shape to the bigness of almost pain, and Shizune's sexiness was still embarrassing and cute. So Naruto began, but Shizune stopped him, finger on lips, and put him down on the rug. She was of being nervous too, but not of embarrassed like Naruto, and his shape looked good to her even if young. She kissed off his neck, and rind his shape, and sucked on his neck with sex cravings. So Naruto set up to kiss Shizune, and he put his shape in her pussy, and Shizune moaned and rubbed her girly button as she sexed Naruto. They topple to the rug when Naruto arches back for harder sexings, and Shizune grunt and use her girly muscles on Naruto's shape as they sexed, feeling his ogreness in her bits. She no notice Mark flash on back long time ago, and continued to sex Naruto harder and harder, rolling around on rug fighting for a top. She got to feeling the sex in his build up, and felt Naruto throb as she sexed on him, and so he touched a girly button again, and moaned and let out all her sexiness on Naruto, his shape now slick with pent up orgy lustings unleashed. Shizune gave him the lusty, happy moanings and lay on Naruto, mouthing his neck and cheek again. You're mine, you naughty little tail beast. Shizune whispered of Naruto's ear with ultimate sexiness. So then they was being wiped off with random blanket on out of the couch and went back outside. 
I hope it did not look at Naruto, and Tsunade coughed and said, Well, it seems like Toby's plan is being of effective. Is everyone else ready? Sonori asked with smooth noticings. Naruto's girl is not. But how we all fly together? asked Amy. <sighs> if you are all in contact with the genitalia, then Naruto's power will flow and connect with each of you. Simple. Naruto glanced, and then Yurika was bent over, but Amy speak. I need a quick recharge, Naruto. So they all look, and Naruto got to shape, seeing Amy's curviness. And she kneeled down and opened mouth for him. He closed eyes, but it felt good, so he opened and see Amy looking up at him, and it seemed like they connect. She felt the glowing of sexiness build up in her again, and in a moment was glowy and blushing. All right, got to go. So Naruto got on Eureka and Shizune got on her. Eureka then put her fingers in Amy's and Samu's girly pants, and they gasp as they feel power from Naruto. Lift up! Shout Naruto, and they all fly up. Amy shared her boostings, and she and Eureka and Samu made a cool jutsu to make rocket fires come from their feet, and they zoom fast back to the base on the Hokage's head. They touch it down, and Tintin mouth hanged open and stared to see Shizune with Naruto. You're all right, Yakubo said. She was down to just her underwear and had a fresh, slim shape. Naruto felt a the embarrassing like with Shizune, but Yakumo smiled and Naruto remembered himself. Yeah, we got into a fight with Alba, but that was tough. But Naruto pulled through, Shizune added. I'm glad, said Yakumo. So, while well, I was busy while you were away, and I used some homemaker just to, to turn my clothes into more tents and blankets. Then Naruto saw the new tents, all purple and very neat looking. Those are pretty nice, Yakumo, said Shizune, and Rika and the other girls nodded with agreement. Oh, and they even have our names on them, said Amy, as she walked over to hers. I can use it just to real quick to put your name, Yakumo said to Shizune. She nodded and walked over with Yakumo to a tent near the mountainside. So, is there anyone else you, th you think I should go for, Eureka? A few. But I need a little bit of a break from flying. I didn't notice their positions changing, so they may be strategizing at the moment. So should we, Samori said. Yeah, I was thinking about how we'd defend our base here if other terrorists attacked when we were gone, Tintin said. We have the high ground, so we should be pretty well defended against Jutsu if they don't know how to fly. And that also gave us an advantage for our Jutsu, Samori said. Tintin's earth and my water jutsu would have added power going down the slope. And Amy and Yakuma would be great to help against aerial attacks, Tintin said, was suggesting. So Naruto and the girls continued to strategize, working out plans with Amy and Yakuma and Shizune once they came over. Cool attack patterns and jutsu combos, and before they knew it, it was lunchtime. Naruto got a bunch of instant rum from somewhere, and they feasted on that. It was a funny, happy meal, and they had awkward giggles and laughs looking at each other. And then, after they went back to their tents to chill. Naruto was wondering what kind of heroes he'd be facing in the next few days and weeks. Who would be teamed up with who? He still hoped he could have Sakura with him. Her cute pink hair and good strengths of punching. He wanted to beat Toby and make world peace more than anything. And he want to being of do it with Sakura. Literally. Lost in his thinkings, Naruto almost didn't notice the tent flap lift up. Huh? He looked and see that it was Samurai. Uh, uh hey. Uh um got a lot on your mind? Uh yeah, I guess you could say that. Don't forget to keep a cool head and not get too distracted. Samui said, lounging towards Naruto. But there are so many things to do and to keep track of. Well, sometimes you need to step back from that and relax for a little while. So Naruto began to see where Sammy was going and gulped big time. He looked at her and saw her restlessness being with a large and hanging. He likes girls with a shape more like Yakumo or Sakura, not all big like Samui. 
but he was still kind of sexy. Taking a little break can help you focus. Samurai slithered with lust and turned to Naruto and talked low. I could hear you with Shizune. Just let it all go for a while and give me some of that. So Samurai licked Naruto's neck and nibbled his ear for a second there, and then say, Maybe I could show you a thing or two while we're at it. Wink, wink. She wrapped her arms around Naruto and stopped his nervous talk with a slow kiss, and Naruto felt himself begin to get a shape. Samurai was a really good kisser, and he knew before it, Samui put his shape inside her and began to sex on him, slow and heavy. Naruto grunted, and Samui began to sex him faster, bit by bit. his back into her and hold on to her hips. Samui slowed down and took Tim to lick and nip Naruto's nipples when she came down to them. She raked his sides with light sexings of a fingernail and sex with heavy slow movings. Yeah, you fill me up just right. Oh, in that way, Samui sexed with Naruto for a long time, moaning and really whining with Naruto blah blah blah. Then she got on her back and pulled her legs up behind knees, and Naruto got bruises on his boots from sexing Samui so hard. He got the sexing furies onto him, and really kept sexing Samui hard, even though his boots hurt. But after a while, he slowed and sexed Samui like she had him, grinding into her with heavy sexings. Samui drew his head to her chest, and he kissed her breasts a little, and then sucked on her for a bit, leaving a big hickey. Naruto stayed on Samui's chest and breathed Ed, Ed with lustings, looking into her eyes. Samui rolled over and sat up, and then kneeled, holding Naruto's shape. Stand up, she commanded. I want this all over my face. So Naruto stood, and Samui put him in her mouth, tasting Naruto and sexing his shape with her hands and tongue. Samui moaned herself a lot, and Naruto groaned, feeling the sexiness built up again. Ah, ah, oh, Samui! She pulled him out of her, and he throbbed and got his sex juice all over her face. And then Samui put Naruto back in her mouth, and she sexed him for a little bit longer before she was done. Drink. So in the afternoon, Naruto left base and went into town to buy some supplies. There were long lines at the nigger tool stores, but not too many at the food ones, Connor feared. He wanted to get a lot of ramen, but the girls had yelled at him to get other stuff too, like tampon flavored cereal and chocolate flavored douches. <laughs> he had lots of his claims carry all the stuff for him as he ran into Kakashi. You and your army going to eat all that? <laughs> no, but I am really hungry. You have a lot of bags too, Sensei. Ah, just have a few stray pussies to feed. They'll meow too loudly otherwise. Oh, sure, I didn't think you liked cats. I'm a fan of all things cute and adorable. Kikashi did his eyes well and walked off to wherever. So it was the evening when Naruto got back to base on the Kali's head, and Amy and Tintin said, Finally! They went all through the bags and put a lot of the stuff in the store truck Tintin had made with a chutsu and some stuff in their own tapes. And it was while well, the canned soups were warming over the fire, Yakumo gave a wanting look to Naruto. She looked away for quick as she adjusted her lazy brassier, and then looked back to Naruto for a second. The soups were soon done and spooned into bowls to be ate with grateful slurpings and spawnfuls. Naruto helped Shizune put away the bowls after the quiet eatings, and she winked and ruffled his hair as she walked to her own tent. Naruto go to his tent, own and relax on one of the pillows he bought, thinking of crazy sexy days since Toby made challenge. He began to be of the sleepy, and think about Tintin and Sakura, and it was dark, the crown walls of his base and tent. Then he heard shy interrupting coughings outside his tent. Come in. 
tin flap was being lifted up, and Yakimo bent down to walk it in. Naruto's eyes took a little bit to adjust, and then he see Yakimo's long brown hair looked dark and fine, and she kneeled down and crawled to beside Naruto. What's up, Yakimo? Naruto, I still have not been out the claim yet, so Yakimo said. Oh. I don't know how I will compare to the other girls, but... Well... I'm a... I just take it slow and easy, okay? Naruto swallowed, <clears throat> and Yakima reached behind to take off her brassiere and slid off her thong. Her form was sexy, silhouette in darkness, and she slowly hung and kissed Naruto with careful shyness. Uh, um, we don't need to do this for me to claim you, but I want to. I want to be yours. I've had this little crush on you since that day. Meaning, Yakima meant, Naruto told her the truth of her parents. I never had anyone be so honest with me. And you are pretty cute, too. So Yakima went back to the kissing with Naruto. Less shy now, but still sweet and careful. It was cute with the lips, and Naruto liked kissing Yakima like this, but after a while, he knew it was time, and Yakima hoped to get him in his shape, touching him and kissing him. Yakima winced with the paintings, but still sexed on Naruto gently, breathing low and holding on to him, her maidenness like flower petals plucked 